Arduino is is a microcontroller. So what that means is it's this tiny computer that we can use to make it do anything for us in the real world. So for instance, I could take a bulb, connect it to my Arduino, connect that Arduino gadget to my computer and then write code on the computer and tell my uh, bulb, please light one time every three seconds. Um, my bulb will now be lighting. Doop, 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 doop. And that's a functionality that you would not be able to get if you had just a battery and a bulb. But with, a, with, an, with an Arduino, you're able to now control things. You're able to control the physical world using code, which is pretty cool. Arduino was first introduced to us in the third week, third week of school. However, it was like one month, two months, three months, and I hadn't felt like I had done something significant. And so I went to my facilitator, Zeno, and I told him I want to build something. I want to do something with what I'm learning. He mentioned he ha we have a drone that uses Arduino, and he's like, I can assemble it and then fly it. And I was like, OK, yeah. So <laughs> Wongo is my friend and <laughs> she knows I have this thing for, for programming and I, I equally like Arduino. And so she came up to me and she said, she, she said, Kathy, uh, I have this quadcopter that we can program and tell to do things. You know, we can teach it how to do many things. And so that completely fascinated me and I was on board from the moment she told me. So we find, found ourselves in a room, you know, <laughs> fixing up everything and reading from a book, instructions, back to back. We had to assemble the drone. So it, it came in pieces, yeah. lots and lots of pieces. And then, yeah, many parts and we had to put the parts together. So there were like motors for the copter and then these it has a control board, which they call the flight board, and then what you connect to that is the Arduino, which you now connect to the computer so you can code. Well, the fact that there was nothing, it was just a flow of pieces, and now you're able to bring it together and you see it fly, you know, something you created is now flying. There is that relief, yeah. You feel like, yes, <laughs> after all this we've gone through, we've actually made it work. By doing this, the one thing for me personally that I gained was confidence. You know, to hear that you built a quadcopter and you assembled microcontrollers, it, it sounds crazy. But then once you do it, and once you're able to understand how the process goes, it just it automatically builds your confidence and you're like, wait, wait a minute. So this is what they're usually talking about. It's not that big of a deal. And it's not that hard at all. Anyone could do it. <laughs>